All right, today we're out at the range. We're going to shoot the PA-65. This is an AR-10 chambered for 6.5 Creedmoor from Palmetto State Armory. Alright, so today we're going to do a review of the PA-65. Now, I already have a PA-10 from Palmetto State Armory. Uh, this rifle right here that you see on the desk, it's chambered in 308. I did a review on it. This thing's amazingly accurate, especially for the price. And since it was so accurate and it was such a, a good gun, I wanted to try the, uh, the same thing, but chambered for 6.5 Creedmoor. And that's what I have in this box. I have the upper. So what we're going to do is we're just going to put the upper onto this lower. And we're going to take it out we're going to shoot it. See how good it, it uh, see how good it shoots. Hopefully, it shoots as good as the 308. Let's go ahead and take it out of the box here. I guess we don't really need the box. So here's the upper. It looks pretty much exactly the same as the, the 308 upper. There's a few small differences, not many. Um, so this particular upper right here cost $4.99, and uh, it came with uh, free shipping from Palmetto State Armory. It has a 20-inch barrel. Has a rifle length gas system. A heavy barrel profile. It's 416R stainless steel, it has a 1 in 8 twist rate, a low profile adjustable gas block, a PSA handguard that's 15 inches long, it's lightweight, and it has the uh, it's, it's M lock. It's also free, flo free floating. Uh, it also includes a high pressure small diameter firing pin bolt. A lot of different um, uh, forums that I was reading about these guns, a lot of people were asking that question, and it does. It does have the high pressure small diameter firing pin bolt. And that's about it. We're just going to take this upper, we're going to put it onto this lower. I got another scope that I'm going to put on here. I'm going to take it out and shoot it. And we'll see hopefully if this shoots just as good as the, uh, the 308 did. And if you didn't see that, that video, we're going to put a link in the description box. You can click on that. So now we're gonna go ahead and uh, we got, what was this, 45 rounds down the barrel. I don't do any fancy break-in or anything like that. <clears throat> I never have for any of my guns. So we got 45 rounds down. We got it pretty close to, pretty close to zero. And we're gonna shoot five shots with each of these different types of ammunition. The first one's gonna be the American Gunner. This is, like I said, this is a 140 grain bolt tail hollow point. This is just some inexpensive kind of practice ammunition, I guess. So we'll take four shots. We'll let the barrel cool down for a bit and then we'll go to the next, uh, the next ammunition. So American Gunner. All right, now we're gonna shoot five shots with the Precision Hunter 143 grain ELDX bullet. The Super Formance uh, 129 grain SST bullet. Five shots at 100 yards, see what kind of group we can produce.
All right, let's try it again. More malfunctions. That is not good. That round should be just fine. So we had a couple of failed to eject. The rounds were kind of only halfway ejected out. See how the brass is all dented up here. I don't know. We put about probably put about 60 rounds with the gun already. Had no problems, and then trying to do some actually testing, and we had a couple uh, failed to ejects here. I don't know what that's all about. Okay. All right. Now we're gonna shoot the uh, 129 grain interlock bullets from Hornady. These are the American Whitetail Classic rounds. These are a good, if you can see those. I've already shown them to you. You know what they look like. Pretty good hunting bullet, pretty inexpensive. Let's see if it shoots any better than the other rounds that we shot today. Gonna shoot here is our uh these are federal burger bullets federal what is it gold metal burger 130 green more of a match type round Let's see if we can uh get these things to shoot right here All right, so we're going to go down and check it out. I can already see through the scope. It doesn't look good. Like I said, I don't know what the problem is. The scope mount's nice and tight. It's got, uh, uh, everything's, you know, secured, mounted like it's supposed to be. I had that scope on another gun, and that gun shot fine. So I don't think there's anything wrong with the scope. Nothing really wrong with the mount. We had a couple malfunctions, which that's not good at all. <clears throat> and these groups, this is, I mean, this is premium ammunition here. And nothing really groups good, and you'll see when we get down here. Great. All right, so here's a 143 grain ELD. That's a premium, supposed to be long range bullet, and out of five shots, that's my group. The 129 grain SST, here's my five shots. And that's gotta be, it's gotta be a four inch, you know, spread there. 129 grain interlock bullet started off not too bad and then got these little flyers down here and the best was the burger got three rounds touching that's not bad but then you got these two little guys here for a match grade bullet i would expect a better group than that um like i said i don't know i don't know uh what the deal is with the like i said the scope mounts is, is really secure nice and tight I shot that scope on another rifle and it shot great. Uh, I don't know. I don't. I don't know what the, what the what the deal is. I'm trying to figure out if I'm doing something wrong in this mix, but I don't think so. I don't think there's nothing wrong with the way the scope is mounted or the way we're shooting. Um, yeah, this just this gun does not group anywhere near like what that 308 did. I mean, this is probably minute a deer if you're not going to shoot too much past 100 yards, but I'd expect more out of that for a, a center fire rifle. All right, so this gun didn't perform all that good today, but I want to give it an, uh, an honest chance to uh, perform. So I'm going to take it home, break it down, clean it real good. I'm going to check the scope. Even though it's, it's, it's on there solid, I'm still going to check it and make sure that there's not something that I did wrong as far as mounting the scope or anything else as to why the gun would be shooting like this. But that's not anywhere near the
the performance of the 308. That 308 was just ridiculously accurate. I was kind of expecting the same out of this gun. It's pretty much the same gun, it's just a different caliber. So, like I said, I'll take it home, break everything down, clean it up real good, make sure, double check this scope, and make sure everything's mounted the way it should be mounted. We'll come back out here, we'll shoot again, and we'll see if we can get any better performance out of it. All right, remember to give this video a thumbs up, like, and subscribe uh, for more honest gun reviews, and check out our website at www.3631tactical.com.